February 19th, Pastor is saying to us, when you live in his name, our opening scripture comes from the book of Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. The name of Jesus never fails. That's why the Bible says we must do all things in his name. What does this mean? It doesn't mean when you want to eat, for example, you say, I eat this food in the name of Jesus. Or anything you want to do, you say, I do it in the name of Jesus. No, it's not in the constant announcement. Rather, what it means is that you are living your life in the name of Jesus in all situations, having the consciousness that you live for him, in him, and as his representative in all circumstances. When you live in his name, you will live in dominion over sickness, disease, and infirmities. His name is a place, a place of absolute victory and safety. That's why Solomon said in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. That was in the Old Testament. Today, we don't run into his name. We live in his name. His name is named upon us. When you live in his name, you have no fears. When you live in his name, you live triumphantly over and above circumstances, evil, decadence, depravity, corruption, and the perils of this world. You live in unending peace, prosperity, health, success, and greatness to the glory of the Father. Hallelujah. Please say this confession with me. I live triumphantly over and above circumstances, evil, decadence, depravity, corruption, and the perils of this world because I live in the name of Jesus. I live in perpetual peace, prosperity, health, success, and greatness to the glory of the Father. Blessed be God. For further study, please read Colossians chapter 3, verse 17 of the Amplified Classic, Luke chapter 10, verse 19 of the Amplified Classic, and John chapter 14, verses 13 to 14 of the New International Version. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Mark chapter 4, verses 1 to 20, and Leviticus chapter 15. For the two-year Bible reading plan, Please read Matthew chapter 15, verses 29 to 39, and Genesis chapter 50. Rhapsody of reality.